used to learn through questions because that was something really new because in our normal classrooms we don't even question the teachers and we're not allowed to question the teachers but here the whole learning used to take place only if we asked questions which was completely new progress is actually like kind of polished you it's in a way it makes you like industry ready before i joined uh, prograd i was a normal computer science engineer in a uh, in chennai and mm-hmm. like every other engineering college my college was not great at giving every student a hands on experience in technology and all mm-hmm. so before joining i was a completely uh, like not really a techy person i was i just i was interested in computer science but i was not confident about myself mm-hmm. so when i joined i was really a fresher with an open mind so the whole uh, training process that we had before thoughtworks was really like engrossing in like nice kind of way because a we had a very a rich platform which was very interactive the whole the prograd platform for learning and we used to refer to it a lot other than that we had like online classes where every day we used to learn from our mentors like not like an academic classroom but it was really interactive classroom because we used to learn through questions because that was something really new because in our normal classrooms we don't even question the teachers and we're not allowed to question the teachers but here the whole learning used to take place only if we ask questions which was completely new other than that we used to have assignments which were a weekly basis and through that assignments we used to know where we stand know how much we have to expand and know that okay we have learned this much we used to feel proud about ourselves while completing those assignments and getting that tick mark that 100 points in the program platform was really nice so in that way it did a lot in college we had like a very systematic approach where we would we would have like a syllabus and mm-hmm. this is the syllabus you have to study only this much and questions will be asked also from that syllabus mm-hmm. which is a very like enclosing kind of feeling we couldn't explore more we didn't have time to explore more because the syllabus was quite a bound bound uh, boundary kind of feeling Mm-hmm. and we all obviously had to do good in our academics so we used to only stay within the boundary we never explored but okay. uh, what the boot camp actually did was like it was of a short span to give mm-hmm. us a lo- wide scope of knowledge so in that wide scope they didn't limit us they told that it's free it's the whole scope is free and you can always reach out to us mm-hmm. so we used to go wild and we used to learn a lot and they used to keep uh, helping us grow so in that way it's very different from the whole academia because we didn't do it for marks we did it for learning other than that the mentors we had like um, channels in our slack which we had like code help and slack overflow these channels were really helpful we ha- obviously we can't code perfectly we don't know everything we used to hit up and get errors and lot of stuck ups so at that time we used to put it uh, put those errors in the groups and then there would be men- there would be mentors who would come back to us teach us everything in a simple way they not only cleared our doubts but they helped us to clear our doubts in such a way that we learn we learn more and we are intimidated to learn more so that was a good one and mentors are always reachable like they always say that 24/7 we are available but in prograd i actually felt that they are available because at night we used to code and then we used to be like who will be available we give them a message and they would actually reply so yeah i felt that mentors are really approachable and nice actually before i mm-hmm. even had this i had failed a lot of interviews this was <laughs> this is not my success story this is actually a very hard working story because i yeah. had lost at least 9 to 10 interviews before i actually cracked the first one and my mm-hmm. first one was yellow messenger okay. after that i think i picked up i picked up the pace of how to crack <laughs> interviews or something and i was doing well so it's always not a success story for everyone it's a hard working journey so that's, that's how good. we grow yeah i would definitely think that prograd is a right uh, choice to take because they not only help you technical wise the what i've kept explaining all this while but they also help you grow as a person my communication skills were not this great prograd is actually like kind of polished you it's in a way it makes you like industry ready 
I feel that Prograd is a nice place and a nice community in which you can grow. It's a safe place. You can make mistakes and grow through that. So I feel Prograd is a really nice platform where you can grow. Other than that, you should always have this mindset of growth. You can't be like, huh, Prograd will take care. No, you should also work towards it. So yeah, so that's what I think. Your dream tech career at a top product company is just a step away. Visit prograd.org, check out our latest tech programs and kickstart your dream career in tech.